buried treasure, the challenge to the romantic, the lodestar of countless adventures, hidden in the iron treasure chest of an urgent, exciting land, where the adventurers are the scientists, the technologists, and the economists. Small mines are used to assess the quantity and the quality of the ore. At Mount Goldsworthy, the quantity is measured in hundreds of millions of tons, with a quality of almost 70% purity. A new town was built, and the iron treasure chest was prized open as a huge open cut, with benches giving ready access to the incredible riches. Charts were drawn by the geologists and the surveyors, and great machines provided the keys to win them. Where the earth was reluctant to yield its wealth, explosives were used at points plotted and located with mathematical precision by the geologists and surveyors. On the quarry face, the broken rock is carried to a pair of crushers, where the ore is reduced to an acceptable size for smelting. crushes, the broken ore is distributed into stacks of standard and fine ores.
the end of the working shift, the weary men are eager for home. Goldsworthy is home to the young population of 20th century adventurers who have tamed a wilderness. It is home to their wives and to the sun-tanned Australian children who have made friends with the hot sun and the wide plains. The work at the mine does not cease. Right, I'm okay for you. Ready to go now. Not only have the eager adventurers been attracted to the harsh land, the great ships nose through the world's oceans homing on Port Hedland. For from here, the rich ore is distributed to the hungry steel mills. Seaway and railway meet at the loading station on Finucane Island. The ore is carried swiftly, efficiently, into the holds of the great carriers. There is no fuss, no wasted effort, no use of a man's muscles when a machine can do the job. From the train, the ore rumbles down into an underground bin, and some of it is carried from there direct to the ship. As it goes, a water spray ensures that the port is not subject to a dust nuisance brought from more than 70 miles away. The rest of the ore is stored in stockpiles, from which a bucket wheel reclaimer lifts it for shipping. The combination of methods ensures that the loading of the ships is a continuous process and there is no delay in turning the laden carriers round for their return voyage. The loading of the ships is measured continuously. At the same time, random samples of the ore are diverted to a laboratory. Here, remote from the drama of large-scale mining, but an essential part of it, a scientist calmly tests the ore for its steel-making qualities.
the story does not end. For beyond the ore are the surgeon's scalpels and the steel frames of buildings, the cars and the cameras, the myriad things which come from the untold riches of the iron treasure chest. <laughs>